Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have a very nice challenge on the board. Hmm. How to simplify square root, square root of 16. So we have a square root of 16 and another square root covering it. So how do we simplify this? Now, don't be surprised that some persons may just take a look at this and say oh, that um, the square root of uh, square root of 16, this is equal to, if you take the square root of 16, that will give us what so we have here, the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 will give us what? 2. So, many look at it, if you say that the answer to this simplification will give us 2, then you are wrong. Although, 2 is one of the answers to this simplification. But here we have about um, 4 to 6 roots to this um, challenge. So, how do we solve for all 4 roots? That is the aim of this video. So endeavor to watch from beginning to end of this um, uh, solution or the approach I'm going to apply in solving or simplifying this right now. So if you're new here, this is all I must TV where we learn mathematics all the time. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new persons here because at all time we roll out good mathematical challenges, solution to um, amazing math problem. Okay, so let's go to the board here. So here we take our solution without much waste of time. All right, solution. So from here, we can say let x or y be equal to whatever we have here. So this time, let's use y. So we have here y, okay? So let's say let y be equal to the square root and square root of 16. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to eliminate this radical here. So how do I eliminate this radical? I take the square of both sides of the equation. So if I square this and I square this, then this, this leaves the system. So I now have y squared is equal to the square root of 16. Again, I take the square of both sides again. So square this and I square this. So I now have here y is equal to, to the power of 4 rather, is equal to this, this list. So we have here 16. Now this 16, now this is what I'm going to do to it. I move this 16 to the left hand side of the equation. So I'll end up having y to the power of 4 minus 16 this is equal to zero. Now, 16 can be written as 4 to the power of what? 2. Okay? So, let's go there here now. Now, but instead of that, you look at the exponent we have here now. It's 4. So, I will bring in a number that I can put in there and also raise it to power 4. And what is that number? Uh, there's 2. 2 to the power of 4 will give us 16. So, we have here y to the power of 4 minus 2 to the power of 4. Get that? All right. So this will give us what? 0. Again, because of this power here, I want to split this two powers. Okay? So I want to make it to be 2 times 2. So this will now give us here y to the power of 2, close bracket, or to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 2, close bracket, r to the power of 2 equal to 0. Now, remember what we call the difference of 2 squared, which says that if you have x squared minus y squared, this is equal to your x there minus y black bracket, okay, bracket your x plus your y. Remember this? So, we can apply that here. So, if we apply that here, the whole of this will give us here y to the power of 2 there, Bring in minus first, your 2 to the power of 2, close bracket, the bracket, y to the power of 2, plus your 2 to the power of 2, close bracket, this is equal to 0. Yeah, we apply the zero product rule. We say that if you have your a dot b, this is equal to 0, it means that a is equal to 0, or b is equal to 0. So if we have either this, mean we can... Equate this to zero, equate this to zero. But before we do that, look at this. We are having difference of two square again. So we can break this down to give us here y minus two, close bracket, the bracket y plus two, close bracket, bracket y to the power of two plus two to the power of two is equal to zero. Okay, so but before we apply the zero product rule, Let's try to deal with everything here so that will get our factors straight forward. So here we are true with these two guys here now. So we only have this now. So how do we simplify this? So let's handle this side of it here. So let's take this down here. 
All right, so I want to rewrite this equation and work on only this while keeping this. So this will now give us here your y to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 will give us 4. So we have here 4 is equal to what? 0. If you look at this, this is a quadratic equation. So how do we solve this quadratically? I want to form um, a good quadratic equation whereby we're going to have b here. Because you want to use the um, the formula method where we have A, B, and C. So here we only have A, C, but we don't have B. So I'm going to represent B in this equation with something. So this will give us here your Y to the power of 2 plus 0 Y the plus 4 is equal to 0. So 0 Y is sent in as nothing. So using the formula, our Y is equal to your minus B plus minus the square root of B square, the minus 4AC, okay, all over 2A. What is our A? Our A from this equation is 1, the B is what? 0, and C is equal to what? Plus 4. So let's go ahead and put this value into this. So if we do this, we're going to have our Y is equal to minus your 0 plus minus the square root of your 0 squared, okay, let me write this way, this square please, the minus 4 dot 1 dot 4 all over your 2 dot 1. Okay, so we have here y is equal to, of course this will give us 0, so we left it plus minus the square root of minus um, 16 all over 2. Now, recall our iota, we know that your um, square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. Remember this? So we can rewrite minus 16 as minus 1 times plus 16. Okay, so from here, what we do? So this, we turn this up plus minus the square root of what? 16, let's take root 16 times minus root 1. Okay? All right, everything here, all over what? Two. So from here, we can rewrite this as Ry is equal to, the square root of 16 will give us four. So we have plus minus four iota, all over two. You see that? So we can use two to split out this here. So if we use two to divide this, this will now give us plus minus two iota. Do you get that now? Okay, so we cannot go ahead to bring out our expression from this. So if we are to bring out our expression, apply the zero product rule, which I just explained um, later. So we have this, this, and this is what we've worked on to give us this. So from here, we now have this to be bracket y minus two bracket bracket. Here we have y plus, uh, plus two, yes, plus two, Close bracket, then this side we have here, bracket, ry plus minus 2i, this iota place. Everything equal to what? Zero. So if we send this to zero, send this to zero, send this to zero. So what would be the final answer to our expression here? So we now have here, therefore, our first y is equal to two, which is y1, okay? Then we have here, y2, this is equal to minus 2, okay? Y3, this is equal to our, uh, let's take uh, the first one, which is 2 iota, and Y4, Y4 is equal to minus 2 iota. So we have four root to this simplification instead of just one, sorry, instead of just uh, two, okay? So, if you follow this procedure, you get all answer to the simplification of square root of the square root of 16. Okay? You get all four answer to this simplification, yeah. Okay, thanks for being there. All right, so this might be the end to this simple challenge. If you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. And also, do not forget to drop a comment in the comment section. It could be thanks, Jay, for what you're doing. You have a better way of simplifying this. Leave it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you. Bye. For now.